Hi guys, it's K-Pop Play with Tiffany, and today we have a episode zero! Woo! So, as you guys know, I have two series that I'm going to be starting momentarily, and that is Dress Like a K-Star and Fashion Styling. So, with this episode today, I kind of want to just explain to you a little bit more about myself, which is why it's called Episode Zero, Who is Tiffany? So, my start is I started in the entertainment world. I started with acting, singing, dancing, and musical theater, as well as basic theater. So, plays, musicals, both. And... I did a lot of background acting. I never actually had a featured principal role. I was either a featured background or just a background artist. And I first discovered that I was into fashion with this experience. I was a seasoned regular on the show Hannah Montana when I was younger, starring Miley Cyrus. And for being a background artist, you have to bring your own clothing. So when I was younger, I had a lot of really, really hip and cool clothes. And that's kind of what they wanted for this show. So every single time I worked on the show, I had to bring my own wardrobe. Usually you bring like two to three different outfits. It already depends on how many scenes you're shooting for the day. And one day when I brought my clothes into the wardrobe, a uh, costume designer, however term you want to use for it, it's usually wardrobe, but it's also in a way a costume designer. And I showed them my clothes and they always told me I had the best clothes out of anybody there. And that kind of sparked me wanting to go more into the world of fashion. My senior year in high school, I took two classes. I was graphic design and sewing, and those were my elective courses for the year. And I enjoyed both of them. I had really good grades in both. In my graphic design class, they had a lot of colleges come to meet with us, and that's how I figured out the school I wanted to go to. I was dead set on doing graphic design as my major, and I ended up at the Art Institute of Los Angeles, California. So with this uh, Art Institute, it was technically the Los Angeles one, even though we were in Santa Monica. We were right behind the Activision building, which was kind of cool. So I go in for graphic design because that was the easiest thing I could get into at the time where I didn't have strong drawing skills, but I had a really good portfolio of Photoshop and Illustrator skills. Everything is going good in school, and then suddenly it's my portfolio review for the year, and they said, you are creative, but you cannot design. What does that mean? What does that mean? Like, I could not fathom in my brain what that meant. So they said, you can change your major once while your time is here. So think about going to another major. And at the time I was doing another class of mine and I would focused the class project around a fashion look. And I came in clothing that I made. The whole project was about fashion. My teacher was like, there's someone I want you to meet. And I'm like, all right, cool. So he brings in this man named Claude, who is the head of the fashion department. And I didn't even know there was a fashion department. Like it just, my brain could not, my brain was just not working in college. So he said, why don't we have a talk and we'll see if you maybe want to join the program. So I talked to him for a bit and I realized I want to go into fashion. I realized that that was also a thing I was very good at doing and being a cosplayer, I was, I started cosplaying in 26, so I wasn't really good, but I started at that time, and I was making my own clothes, I was thrift store my own clothes, so I thought, you know, yeah, I could go in for a costume design, and I think that would be a lot of fun, I want to work still in the entertainment business, and perfect, it worked! So while in fashion design, I started college in 2010, I ended in 2015, because I had to do that extra year, and in 2013 is when BTS debuted. And I was there for the debut, I was there for pre-debut, and when No More Dream came out, I looked at the outfits and were like, what are they wearing? What is this? What? So, <laughs> I, I was like completely in shock with the fashion sense that was going on there, and I was like, huh, maybe one day I could style them and put them in clothes that I think would look good on them for certain music videos. I think that would be fun. I'm pretty good at putting my own looks together and boom. That also started me thinking about being a stylist as well. So while my time in college, I was working on costume design, I was working on fashion design, and I was working on styling. I'm very good at trend forecasting, so that's why styling was very, very easy for me to get into. And the good thing is I was able to learn how to make my own clothes, which is good because alterations and things like that. So that's kind of what started my love for fashion, costume design, as well as styling. I had been going to KCON since it started in 2012, but I never thought about dressing up as any K-stars. It never even crossed my mind, and suddenly, BTS was going to be there in 2014, and I was like, let's cosplay them. So I don't have any photo evidence of when I first cosplayed because I just was 
too embarrassed and shy to take pictures of myself, but I did the no more dream outfits. I know it, oh God, those outfits will always haunt my brain. So I went to Forever 21, I found stuff that was super, super close to that. I went to thrift stores, found stuff that was super duper close and there it went. So that was my first step into actually cosplaying. But then in 2016, I cosplayed once again. So go ahead and check that out. I actually have photo weapons this time. So I did uh, Dope Jimin and it was the easiest cosplay I could honestly think of to try and get done in a fast amount of time. I had made his ID badge like from scratch and I was super proud of it. So I have been cosplaying as K Fashion Stars for a long time now. And honestly, it's really fun. It is a lot of fun. It's also really rewarding as well when you get people coming up to you saying that you're the closest I'm gonna ever get to this star. And someone said that to me when I was dressed as Jimin and I was like, wow, that actually means a lot to me. And this past KCON, I did Chung Ha in her snap-in outfit. So I was able to find a jacket that kind of looked like her Gucci jacket. And I actually had so many people come up to me, ask me, where did I get this jacket? You look really great as Chung Ha. I'm so, I'm so proud. And I'm like, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and then in 2015, woo, I received this. So yeah, sorry about the ring light. This is my actual diploma. So I have a BFA in fashion design and... I'm honestly super, super proud that I got this. I also got on the honor roll a few times with a lot of my projects. I was very, very good at, I'm very good at doing projects. For some reason, my brain is just so good at doing projects. So I ended up on the honor roll a few times. I did a lot of competitions while I was in school and I'm so happy with how everything came out. If you want to see, this is a picture of my senior collection. I did it based around Alice in Wonderland and Alice Madness Returns. And the most proud I've ever been on anything was this. So here's a picture you can see right here, but this is what it looks like up close. So college never taught me how to do a proper corset. So I was able to take an internship with Castle Corsetry and Lauren is amazing. I also modeled for her, if you want to check that out too. And she makes the most amazing corsets ever. She makes geek fashion corsets and it's beautiful, but she taught me how to do this beauty. This is a corset I made for my Queen of Hearts costume and it is literal perfection. Like, I never thought of doing a corset this way. I was taught a completely different way. Like, everything is spot on on the inside. It's, you can't say because it it's black, but there's extra things on the inside to keep it stable. But this was the most proud I've ever been in making anything in my entire life. So the two new shows coming out, the first one is Dressed Like a K-Star. In the episodes, I'll be showcasing a certain type of fashion category with a certain group or solo artist. And I'll be showing three different looks with that. And I'll be explaining how I put the looks together, where I got the pieces from the looks from, where the inspiration came from. And I'm super, super excited with this. Like I did say before, I'm very good at trend forecasting, so I'm very good at styling the outfits for the feminine side and also the masculine side, and I will explain those as well. So I'm super, super, super excited for this. So I also am a fashion model. So with fashion styling, I'm going to be taking looks from different companies I've modeled for, which I'm super, super excited for so I can delve more into their styles. I'm also going to be doing a lot of styling within their clothes, so I might be adding extra clothes into it. And also, I am a Yes Style influencer, so I'm getting a whole bunch of stuff from them, hopefully like mid-July. And I'm going to be having a nice big video on them, so I'm super excited. Hopefully those videos with the Yes Style will happen at least once a month. And I'm super excited for fashion styling. Woo! So guys, we've come to the end of the video, but, 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 but... Would you guys like to see some previews of what's going to be happening soon? Woo! Woo! Yes, I do, I do! So, I got some previews for you guys. So, in the next few pictures I'm going to be showing after the video is over, it's going to be giving you a preview of what's to come for Dress Like a K-Star and also for fashion styling. Maybe you'll know who I'm going to be styling and maybe you're going to know who this brand is. I don't know. I'm so excited for these shows to come out. So, these shows are going to come out once a week on Mondays. This coming week might be a little bit late because I'm waiting for my new professional camera to get here. So I'll have an unboxing for when I get the camera as well. So hopefully the camera's supposed to be here by like Monday. So if I can, like, this week is probably going to be out by Wednesday. But then the next following weeks will be Monday. So it's going to switch off. So one week it'll be dressed like a K-Star. The next week it'll be fashion styling. They'll just swap. 
So I'm super, super excited for these shows to come out. I hope you guys enjoyed this super fast video of just explaining a little bit about my own background. If you have any more questions, just drop them in the comment section below. And I hope you guys have a great week.